All right, so you might not want to hear this, or maybe it will liberate you, I don't know. Anxiety, your anxiety is not your fault, but it is your responsibility. My anxiety is not my fault, but it is my responsibility to heal through, right? And so in all of my past videos, almost all of my past videos, I've said that we are so much more than the anxiety that we experience, right? The chaos, the debilitating thoughts, the emotions and the tight chest are not all that we are. But rather when we transcend through that, we get to experience this deep ease and this peace and this clarity and power that is uncorrupted space within us. And it's just a matter of being able to transcend into it so that we can live in that place and as a result, live a much more connected life, a much more fulfilling life, and just a much more creative and, and juicy life experience, right? And of course, it's a practice. But what do I mean by it's not your fault, right? Well, there's this one word that kind of encapsulates all of it. And that one word is conditioning right? Conditioning meaning that something outside of us is influencing the inside of us, right? The outside world is beginning to shift the inside world, right? And so to paint this picture further, when we're children, we are vulnerable, dependent upon our caregivers and also extremely sponge-like. So we take on the beliefs, we take on the habits, we take on the perspectives of life, we take on the maybe generational traumas that they've experienced and the emotional residues that they have not healed through yet, right? We go into school systems, right? We go into the larger society at whole, whether you're in the Western part of the world or the Eastern part of the world, and then we're told to be a certain way then. You have to be really obedient in school or you're not going to get that A, right? But maybe you're creative. Maybe you're not meant to just sit and focus, right? But we're conditioned to be obedient, to remember, to act a certain way within school, right? Taught by our authority figures and then up in through life. Maybe society teaches us to chase money or cars or nice houses, right? And so as we grow up, we receive this conditioning on how we should be as people, as humans. But where this becomes a conflict is that that conditioning, right? Those things that we've taken on might not be leading to a healthy way of operating in the world. In other words, that conditioning may have disconnected us from ourselves. And anxiety is a symptom of being disconnected from ourselves. And so when I say that anxiety is our, like healing through anxiety is our responsibility, is once we recognize our anxiety, we recognize that we've gone through this experience of conditioning. Well, now it's in our hands, in our control. That's why this might be liberating to begin working through those wounds of the past, right? Those habits that we've been conditioned uh, upon, right? Those ways of looking at the world that have left us disconnected from ourselves. A very simple example of this is you may have been taught that you need to be an accountant or you need to be in the medical field, right? And you were kind of groomed to do that your whole life. But there's like this little piece inside of you that's like, oh my God, I can't do this, right? This doesn't feel right. And as that happens, it creates a little divide. Your outside world is not in alignment with your inside world. And so when that starts to happen, there's a little bit of a disconnection between who you truly are and the way that you're getting to live your life, which again, that disconnection can breed symptoms like anxiety, 
right? But when we're in alignment, our internal world is reflecting our outside world. Well, then we get to come in that alignment. We get to feel more smooth, more connected, more of that ease, that peace, that power, right? And of course it takes work. So that might be a lot for one video, but there's just one more piece that I want to add to it. The way that we do this is number one, just allowing ourselves to become aware of our anxiety and know that it's okay to experience it. Just instead of criticizing ourselves for having the anxiety, recognizing that it is a symptom to become curious about. Why are we feeling anxious? Why is this here? Where is it coming from? Asking these questions that start to create a picture around it, becoming curious of it. Once we can start to create that space around it, right? Start to give it that loving awareness of curiosity, just like we would, you know, a little toddler trying to understand why a toddler is upset. Then we start to get answers. So once that awareness comes, then that picture begins to be painted of where our wounds are, what things that maybe are disconnecting us from ourselves. And then we get to start doing that dance of healing, right? But for the sake of this video, I just want to bring more color, more light, more detail to understanding why we have anxiety in the first place, why we've be, been disconnected from ourselves in the first place, so that this provides a nice jumping off point to continue doing more of that deep dive into who we truly are. So if you'd ever like to join one of our live meditation events where we get to create this awareness together and this the support of this community, you can check out all the events listed down below and we could create it all together, start, continue, not start, continue evolving together, creating this awareness together. Um, you check out all those events down below. And with that said, um, I have now been able to take so much of what I share on YouTube, so much of the practices and the insights that I haven't yet shared on YouTube and put them into a course that is digestible, affordable, and self-led so you can do it in your own time um, on my website so that you can follow just smoothly this journey back into yourself from creating that awareness all the way to really beginning to embody who you who you are at your core um, and you can check out all those details below as well with that said i wish you a wonderful remainder of your day it was it's springtime nearly we got one more week and so i had to come and film this outside because it's just it's just too gorgeous so i got a little river here actually a big river here to my side i got this nice little trolley trail um, that these old like 100 year old trolleys still go on and uh, just spend time out in nature where when we let nature condition us <laughs> we just get to melt into who we are it's very nice i will see you in the next video ciao for now